Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 BMW 840i Coupe, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Big luxury sports coupes like the 8 Series just beg for a V8. Now for 2020, BMW has put another engine option under the hood, a turbocharged six-cylinder. The 2020 BMW 840i Coupe won't offer the pin you to your seat acceleration of the V8-powered M850i, but BMW says the Coupe manages a 4.4 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time when you opt for all-wheel drive. If these times bear out, the 8 Series would be a bit quicker than some of its V8-powered competition. With an as-new starting price well under $100,000, the 8 Series now appeals to a wider set of buyers. In its less expensive guys, the 840i, which has a starting price of $87,900, it now provides a more luxurious experience for shoppers who previously would have considered sports cars like the Porsche 718 Cayman and BMW Z4. Obviously, a two-door luxury coupe that has a starting price of $87,900 isn't actually cheap, but in the grand scheme of BMW 8 Series models, the rear-wheel drive 840i is a bargain. The 2020 BMW 8 Series is offered in three trims, 840i, 840i xDrive, and M850i xDrive. All are available in either a coupe or convertible body style. There's also four-door versions of the 8 Series called Grand Coupe. The 840i models are powered by a turbocharged 3-liter inline 6 that makes 335 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque. The standard 840i is rear-wheel drive, while the X drives are all-wheel drive. An 8-speed automatic is standard across the board. Standard feature highlights on the 840i include adaptive dampers, a power trunk lid, soft closed doors, and four collision warning with automatic emergency braking. The convertible adds a power folding cloth top, and all-wheel drive models add all-wheel steering, which is optional for the rear-wheel drive 840i. Inside, you get a head-up display, leather upholstery, heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, interior ambient lighting, Apple CarPlay, a 10.25-inch touchscreen, a navigation system, and a 16-speaker Harman Kardon audio system. BMW's options packages for the 8 Series primarily consist of advanced driver safety features. The two main ones are the driving assistance package. That includes parking sensors, a 360-degree parking camera, lane keeping assist, and an automated parking system. And then there's the driving assist professional package. That includes adaptive cruise control and uh, semi-automated driving assist functionality. The coupe is also eligible for the cooling and high-performance tire package, which gives you an upgraded engine cooling and tires for high-performance applications. Other notable options include a carbon fiber roof, a gear selector and select controls in faceted glass, and a Bowers & Wilkins premium audio system. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 BMW 840i Coupe. Before we do that, I just want to tell you real quick to check out some links in the description below. I have started doing this thing called Related Build and Price Reviews, and I started putting them in my description below of vehicles that compete with vehicles that I'm doing reviews of. We're doing a review here of the 840i Coupe, so what have I done? I put uh, Related Build and Price Reviews in the description below. I mentioned a lot of 8 Series Coupes, for instance. Uh, the BMW M8 uh, Coupe, the M8 Grand Coupe, the uh, M850i. Guess what? I've done build and price reviews of all of those BMWs. I've also done the Lexus LC500 Coupe, which is a direct competitor to this um, to the 840i. And I've also put together some other vehicles that I might be interested in buying should I be at this price point? Like, oh, the Z4 that I mentioned, the 718 Cayman, a Mercedes-Benz S560, and maybe even a 911 Carrera GTS. All of those links I've put down in the description below. So after you watch this video, make sure you check out some of my other related build and price reviews.
Okay, so here's how this is going to work. We are going to go check the features and find out all about the features. Here you can see we're going to learn about the exterior colors. And so after we do the exterior colors, find out about the features, we kind of looked at some of the gallery photos in the intro, but we'll kind of go through all of those again. And after we do all that, then we'll jump into our build and price and actually spec out our 840i coupe. Uh, all right, so here we are. We're at the colors, the exterior colors. This color here is called Blue Ridge Mountain Metallic. Looks like we can also do a, a 360 spin around of the exterior of the 840i Coupe. All right, so that's the Blue Ridge Mountain Metallic. I don't think it's very attractive. We have the Frozen Blue Stone Metallic. We have uh, Averturin Red, some kind of red. I'm sure I butchered that name, and that's a number two. Uh, they've got a uh, Tanzanite Blue. There's a Dravid Gray. There's a Blue Stone Metallic. None of these colors are really are really grabbing me. There's a Sunset Orange. Nor nor does this uh, little configurator probably do these colors any justice. Here's a Sonic Speed Blue. Here's your Mineral White, your Black Sapphire, and your Alpine White. Okay, so I mentioned some 0 to 60 time in the intro, uh, and that was for the 840 Coupe, the 840i X-Drive Coupe. Uh, same horsepower, but because it has all-wheel drive, it does the 0 to 60 a little bit better than the 840i Coupe. We're just going to build and price the rear-wheel drive Coupe today. Normally, I do the X-Drives and, and most of my BMW stuff because uh, I, I like four-wheel drive. But for whatever reason, I decided, you know what? I like to see this coupe in rear wheel drive, and it does 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds versus 4.4 seconds. So we're just going to dig down, explore these uh, some features. So here we are. Uh, like I said, starting price for the X drive or for the 840i coupe rear wheel drive is $87,900. It's a six cylinder engine. It makes it's turbocharged. It makes 335 horsepower. Uh, here's a nice shot of the uh, the side shot of the front, surely with an M Sport kit on there, with that little M brake on there. You can just tell that it's got an M Sport kit on it. Here we're going to kind of learn about their standard features and available, they call it available augmentations. Why don't you just say options? You really got to come up with the word augmentation. It's a car. I get it. It's an expensive car. You're trying to do luxury. Do you have to augment? I mean... The word, you know, uh, options or packages sounds just fine. So standard full color head-up display, I already mentioned that. I often say in many of my videos that I think BMW has the best head-up display in the business. I think I should know. I do. I build and price a lot of cars. I look at a lot of information. Um, and, yeah, I think BMW offers the best head-up display for sure. Over here on the left, they're telling us that there's a standard remote engine start. That's cool. And I think maybe new for BMWs. I know American cars, Cadillacs, Buicks, Chevrolets, uh, Fords. Uh, you often find those with remote starts right on the key fob. But as far as European cars, I haven't really taken any notice of that. So to even see that, that's pretty cool. Standard remote engine start. Now, is that on the key fob or is that through an app? They don't really say, and that does kind of matter. All right, so over here on the right, though, while we ponder that, uh, they're letting us know there's the available driving assist professional package, which I did talk about. It adds impressive technology, active cruise control uh, with stop and go, and then there's cross traffic alert, uh, just to name a few, that come with the driver assist professional package. Will we add that to our 840i? I don't know. We'll see when we actually get to the building price. Okay, moving on. Some other features over here on the left where the steering wheel is. They're talking about the standard live cockpit professional. We can kind of see how the instrument this cluster is this whole digital display. All right, now this is your iDrive system, connected services, and they call it a holistic environment. And then over here on the right, uh, of course, like I, I mentioned a few moments ago, that M Sport design. Right, we should we saw that car with the wheel with the M Sport caliper and all that. That's the M Sport package. I love BMWs with M Sport packages. Rarely do I want a BMW and or even like a BMW that doesn't have an M Sport package. So that said, we will certainly be adding the M Sport design, as they're calling it now, the M Sport design to our 840i. All right, let's jump ahead or jump around, take a break from looking at some features real fast. And uh, check out some of these gallery images. Uh, we've got a little bit of writing that kind of comes across each one of these images. 
but it sort of kind of goes away. But we're not going to really spend any time worried about that. We're just going to kind of go through these images that don't seem to be moving. Hang on a second. Okay, maybe I got it figured out. Maybe I do. Yeah, okay. I was able to figure out how, how to use a slider. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, these uh, we got a little bit of sentences that come across the top of here. But, you know, they just kind of give us some feature highlights and things like that. Here's the big deal, or here's the deal about that. We don't really care about this because, well, we're still learning about the features, and we're going to figure all that out along the way. Uh, right now, what we're really trying to do is just kind of get a shot of how gorgeous the 8 Series looks. And it is quite attractive it is very attractive actually uh there's a nice shot of the digital cockpit great shot of the interior this is all the good shot of the interior stuff right here we almost don't even need to check out the rest of the interior photos because they're showing us basically everything right here but we will take a look at a few of the interior photos uh you can see the seats there there's the door sill obviously they're showing us different configurations obviously here they're showing us the m850i blah 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 but uh, we can get uh, door sills on ours as well. Beautiful seats. They look great. The 8 Series is a very nice car. Obviously, I like I, I said, I've done lots of building prices on the 8 Series, the Competition Coupe, the Grand Coupe, the M850i. I'm uh, pretty uh, intimately uh, knowledgeable on these cars. I like the 8 Series a lot. I'm kind of partial to them. All right, so we've taken a look at the gallery. Uh, let's go check a look at the rest of the features, and then we'll do our building price. Here's some other features. This one looks to be maybe a design feature. They're talking about classic cues, the active kidney grill. So the, these, this, these, the grill has shutters that can open and close, and that helps to control airflow, engine cooling, uh, aerodynamics, all kinds of things. So you got you got that. Uh, they're talking about here the, the leather upholstered multifunctional seats, leather upholstered functional seats. Uh, here they're just really talking about the high performance heritage of the car and the bold aggressive design, which it really does have a bold aggressive design. And here, last but not least, the integrated technology, the uh, most advanced iDrive system. Why wouldn't it be? Why would it be a step back? Of course, it's the most advanced and it's the most attractive. So, you know what? I think we've kind of sort of kind of figured out most of the features you know these bmws we kind of get where it's at i've kind of already mentioned most of the standard features uh in the intro i'm kind of anxious to jump to the building price maybe you are too so let's jump into it you know sometimes the intro sometimes the intros are so good that they really do say it all and sometimes the manufacturer doesn't put a whole bunch of information on their website like in this case they they make the website very beautiful and it's a very aesthetically appealing but it doesn't really say a whole bunch. So fortunately, my intro gave us the rundown of all the standard equipment on the 840i uh, coupe. So that said, we took a look at a few of the gallery photos, kind of picked up a few nuggets of things that they wanted to tell us. Like I said, it was more of a fashion show on the website than informative. So, But we gathered our, big, our, our nuggets of information, and uh, let's do our build and price now. So we'll move on to the build and price uh here we are so i don't not going to worry about the zip code thing so we've got two looks that you can go with you can go with the sport classic look and i already said that i i love i love the m sport design so the m sport design is going to have all of this the live cockpit with navigation the frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation the rear view camera the head-up display and the remote engine start it's going to have all of that but in addition to that it's going to have you know uh, park distance control and it's going to have that sporty look and that's going to cost us four thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars to get that sporty look but you know what i don't know if you notice that subtle change it certainly looks much better what do you think yeah i like it okay so as we can see here that took us to a nice healthy sum of ninety three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars and now we cost more money than a lexus lc 500 as which is a starting MSRP is about 92,000 and change. All right, let's move on to uh, colors. Let's choose an exterior color. Now, here's the deal. None of those colors that we went through earlier were impressive to me. I don't care about any of those colors. And so usually when I don't care about colors or no colors grab, I usually go for some primary color. I do like BMWs and Alpine white, so it's not really I'm not really taking a step back on that. So we're going to go with the Alpine white uh, exterior color. And then for wheels, we have some wheel options. What do we have? Do we have a 20-inch wheel option? Uh, yes, we do have a 20-inch wheel option. 
Now, what do we want to get with those 20-inch wheels? Uh, wow, they've got a lot of 20-inch wheel options. Let me just pick one. Okay, I picked these 20-inch M V-spoke bicolor orbit gray wheels. Why did I pick those? I picked them because I knew that I could pick these wheels without it changing any packages or anything I needed to do. How do I know that? Because some of these wheels, like this one here, has a little eye, a little exclamation point uh, over the wheel. That's going to let you know that if you change that wheel, it's going to change some other options on the car. And you know what? I really didn't want to do that. So... We're going to leave that alone. I'm happy with those wheels. I wanted a 20-inch set of wheels. I think they look pretty good. Let's move on and check out some upholstery stuff. Okay, we're going to keep the upholstery thing really, really easy. I like the black with the M piping. I'm not trying to be cheap or anything about it or, or lazy about it. I just think it looks good. I, I like black leather interior. I like the simple look. It doesn't need to get complicated for me as far as that's concerned. As far as trim, that's our wood veneers and all of that there. Uh, they got the stainless steel. What does that look like? Um, there's there's a shot of it. You can see right on the flip-up door down there. The stainless steel. I don't like, again, I'm not feeling any of these. These are individual colors. Uh, this one's an individual one, so it costs extra money for individual. Individual is just upscale uh, woods, leathers, and paints for BMWs. Uh, I'm not feeling any of these, um, any of these trims, to be honest with you. Uh, how about the fine line copper wood? That actually doesn't look too bad. What do you think? Uh, do we get a clearer shot here? Hang on. Okay, there's our clearer shot. And we can actually look around the interior. And you know what? That's actually not bad looking. I like the M seats with the little M piping or whatever they called it. And the that that wood trim, that wood veneer is going to be nice. And check out the pillarless or the frameless rear view mirror. I've been noticing that on a lot of new cars. They don't do like the black frame around the, the rear view mirror anymore. Or, or less uh, manufacturers are doing that. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now let's pick some options. Uh, let's pick some options if we want any. We're still sitting at 95150 There's the driving assist package. I talked about these packages. So the driving assist package, just so we cover that again, let's cover that and see what it, what it all includes. So the driving assistance package is $1,100. And, well, you can customize the package with a few extra things. But the standard package comes with, well, it comes with, uh, they don't really tell us anything, do they? No, they really don't. All right, so let me refer to my notes. All right, so that active driving assist, that gives us the parking sensors, 360-degree parking camera, lane keeping assist, and automated, automated parking system, and an automated parking system. Okay, so we picked that package up for $1,100. The next package is that $1,700 professional package. That gives you the cruise control and all that. I'm not really into the cruise control, so we're not going to worry about that. There's the comfort seating package. And the comfort seating package gives us what? We don't really care what it gives us. You know why? Because they want to remove the black extended merino leather with the black M piping. So guess what? Because they want to do that. We're not going to worry about those seats. All right, so here's some other options. We'll just go through these options real fast. There's night vision assist. Nah. Glass controls. Nah. Multifunction seats. Yep, we got those. Um, anthracite headliner. Yep, we got that. They threw that in automatically. I didn't even select any of that. Here's that four-wheel steering. Don't want any part of that. The Bowers and Wilkins sound system. Don't want any part of that. Actually... In, none of these things are really that, that exciting. The packages, the options, none of those are really exciting. What do we have over here for accessories? Is there anything in the accessories that we might want? A drive analyzer? No. Do we want these performance floor mats? Ah, throw those in there. The floating center caps? No. But I do want the all-weather floor mats and maybe that all-weather luggage compartment mat. I like that. So we're, sitting about, we're still sitting at $95,000 and change. And we'll move on to the summary. And, okay, we're still under $100,000 for this vehicle. We're still under $100,000 for our M, our, not our M, it's our 840i uh, coupe. Not bad, not bad. Um, am I totally impressed with everything? Nah, I was hoping to have a little more, um, a little more options that I could do, but it's okay. It's okay for what it is. You got to bump up to a much higher price point to do anything else right to get to the m850i you're definitely over six figures and i think that this car is more than enough car at the end of the day so yeah it was eighty seven thousand nine hundred dollars to begin with 
and we ended up with what 96 and change so yeah not bad uh, i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up do i like the car eh, it's all right it's okay i do like all the other eight series but the 840i it's just okay uh but i would still drive one <laughs> Most certainly if you flip me the keys. All right, on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you found this uh, review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.